Kirk has to rescue Sulu by like hugging him and pulling his chute. And then his chute breaks. Like what is going on with Starfleet? I got you. Now pull my chute. Okay, wait, why is that a big deal? What do you mean? Oh, I mean, so Kirk is probably what, 180 pounds? He's not, sure. he's just yeah, this, yeah, yeah. A, you know, a yeah. fully grown man, but nothing crazy. Yeah. And so Sulu is similar size. So they're two fully yeah. grown men, maybe 300, 400 pounds total. Okay. And the chute is designed with such tight margins that it can't handle two men. Oh. This is crazy. Like oh, that needs to be well with two people so 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 they they were three we're estimating that they're like 360 something pounds right yeah but it really should be designed for 500 is what you're saying i'm it, saying it should even, be designed to handle it and like it just be strong and not break away right so a, a largest person i could think of in starfleet may be 300 and two I mean, 300 people, right? but they also have non-human that's people, right, right? non-human personnel right so it should mm -hmm. be made for the largest non-human personnel that could be on a ship Hmm. Let's say that's 500 pounds. So you need two of those to be able to be handled, which would be 1,000 pounds. And then you should probably just double that for safety. So at least a ton. I see. It should so be able to handle it. You're saying, is Starfleet okay? Because they're designing their safety equipment with like real slim margins. Right. I mean, like it's, it's lowest like, bidder, like, penny pincher stuff. What is going on? It's like my, my drive to work every day is 10 miles. So I'm going to get a gas tank that's 10.2 miles. Like... What are you doing? Like, just engineer up, engineer up 15 miles. Give you a little bit of buffer space. Buffer space, yeah. Especially this and is a this is a emergency situation, and it's not completely mm -hmm. unforeseen. This is well, how I mean, it's. This is what we have now, right? There are right. stories where people were like, "My my main chute failed, my emergency chute failed," and then some other skydiver was like, "I got you." They like gotcha. dive down, like grab a hug of life, like pull my chute. Like this actually happens, right? So the chutes have to be engineered to handle those situations, and this chute is so so thin so measly that it breaks mm -hmm. i guess my my only caveat to that is that because there's all this downward momentum and then the chute opens and applies upward force it's you need you need much more than just the person's weight person's weight is if they're like at a at a steady slow fall right but mm -hmm. the actual the actual impulse is enormous but that is but that being said that being that being said you just engineer for that like yeah. you just scale, right? you just scale think, up your, your tolerance. Yeah. And I think shoots are designed not to like do this like bam unfurl. I think they're designed to like open up, open up slowly. slowly. So it's not this like bam on the cords. Mm -hmm. I mean, also bam on the person. Right. So well, I, I know from rock climbing, there are static ropes and there are dynamic mm -hmm. ropes. Static mm -hmm. ropes are like you pull tight. Oh, oh gosh you pull yeah well there was an example you yeah. pull tight and if you pull with too much force it's it's rigid or rock hard and you'll right. if you fall with a with a static rope you'll you'll break mm -hmm. your spine and so there's these dynamic ropes which mm -hmm. are strong but they're also like stretchy springy so that way if you fall off a, off a rock face you have a bit of distance where the rope will stretch and slow right. you down gently uh, as opposed to bringing your back so in summary the starfleet parachute people need to go back to the drawing board and really rethink their equipment because this is this is awful this is this is engineered to just exactly the limits and then break away i mean it's to the point where i wouldn't even trust it myself that's right next time i'm just i'm taking a transporter down <laughs> yeah, yeah seriously <laughs>